what's going on, Aries? Here to do a reading for Aries, as you know. Um, it's a general message for Aries. I'm sorry, I was just doing a shuffle. Aries, the King of Wands didn't show up. Now, that could be you, but there is another King of Wands in your energy that wants to come charging towards you and ask you for forgiveness. Um, or ask you for something just to have sex with you and ghost you. Look. Okay. Uh-uh. 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 What the hell is going on, Aries? I don't know. Ancestors, ascendant masters of the highest white life here. Love. What is going on in Aries' energy? Yeah, you single, abundant, everything. Okay, you're in the Queen of Swords energy. That's what I'm picking up. So you got your back turned towards this penis, though. That's what's up, Okay. You focus on single, being abundant, and because you are single and abundant, somebody from your past want to come back and charge and get it in with you. And you like, oh, hell no, nah, Aries, you and your queen of swords energy. It could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Don't have to be. But they're, they're honey, they ready to fight for this. I don't know. They, they, I'm getting a little aggressive energy. Okay. They've been in prison. I'm here. They about to bust. Oh, shit. What's going on? They've been holding back. Ooh, child, and they about to bust through the communication lines now, uh, Aries, and offer you this fish cup, child, but it's all defeated. It's a cup of bullshit. Oh, Casanova. They might be drunk when they show up, or they try to reach out to you, a drunk text or something like that, letting you know. They want to get it in, Aries. I don't know. Mm, because they're sad and imbalanced. Things aren't working out for them. Okay, now, now the truth's coming out. Yeah, they're all in their head that they didn't marry you or they didn't make you the one. Ever since they left you out in the cold, they've been having tower moments, been bored wherever they're at, and they're facing a, a slight depression because they realize now that you are the one, um, Aries. You're the empress, okay? And how they manipulated you. They so sad they manipulated the empress. And whatever they invested in, that shit came to a complete halt. And some of them went off to a third party celebration or whatever. They went to a third party uh, sex fest, so to speak. But they had a son. Some of them had a son or a child. I'm picking up for some of them it's a little girl. And others it's a boy. Out of this third party. And this third party don't know who the baby daddy is though. Because they do, child, this is a messy situation. Aries, you guys, what the hell is going on, Spirit, with Aries energy? Who is in Aries energy trying to come back? What the hell happened? Oh, my God, Aries. What happened, Spirit? The Ace of Pentacles happened. What happened, Spirit? The Empress. Manipulation. Somebody manipulated you. They told you they wanted a new beginning with you. But it, they put you in a competition, though. Possibly put you in a competition with another fire sign, a Sagittarius such as yourself, or an air sign. Or an earth sign, okay? But they put you in a competition. You possibly have children with this person or could have been married to this person. But I think the ace, yeah, that's a brand new beginning, something very solid. And then the empress right next to it where you can grow, you know, build empires. You're, this is business owner. This is boss mama, boss daddy energy at the end of the day. And they manipulated that. So they were manipulating you to the invest in you. You guys were going to work on projects together, be like this power couple type thing, only for them to use you for sex and leave you out in the cold and put you in a competition. Now this person wants to come back and balance some shit out. This is a counterpart. The king of swords keep coming out and everybody reading and shit. And here you come. So I don't know if there was competition between. I don't know. Well, how is this going? What the fuck? This took a turn. This took a turn. This took a turn. Now, for some of you, you do have a choice between two. You have a king of swords and you have a king of wands. Okay? That's getting ready to fight for your love. <laughs> you go. You go, Aries. They about to fight for your love, honey. And they trying to balance out the scales because you bring these people balance. Okay? You close out a cycle with both of these people. And you walked away from them. Now, I don't know. You might want to check out that last reading that I did for a Gemini. Because these kings came up. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm also getting to, this is not for everybody. Only take what fits and leave the rest. Because everybody ain't having same sex relationships, okay? But a lot of them are. We'll say it like that. And a lot of them ain't in your face. But behind closed doors, when the lights go out, they are, okay? 
Um, and what makes it wrong to me is that they're lying and hiding it and keeping it in secret and they're not living in their authentic true self, being real, okay? They're lying behind closed doors. They're coming off living a lifestyle that they don't really, that's not what they are. They're doing shit in the secret. Aries, watch out because you're with a possibly an air sign that's having same sex. Oh, there is a king of wands and a king of swords that's having sex together. Child, Lord have mercy. And they working together to get victory and success. What they working? Look. Why are they working together? Who is this king of wands? And for some of y'all, it's two separate people that don't know, okay? I mean, they fighting for you to get the, the spot. For others of you, it's time for the light to be shown on, okay? You got two people that you used to be with that's in your energy. They're mixing fluids and juices together, okay? They're working together. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. The three of pentacles. Ooh, look. They're working together. This is some nasty shit, okay? They're doing magic together. Oh, then definitely check out that Gemini ring since the magic done came through. And, you know, the King of Wands is magic, a magical motherfucker. You know what I mean? I mean, everybody's a magical motherfucker, but this is... And then, and then the King of Wands could be you too, Aries, okay? But the Emperor really is Aries and then the Fool. So you are a risk taker, Aries. You are a risk taker. So this could be you and your energy too if you're a male. So, I mean, I'm reading for both people, both, both you know, genders. And in, and in Tarot, there is no gender. So it could be, you know... um. That just too masculine, female, I don't know. But I'm going to go intuitively tell what spirit tells me. These two men is sleeping together. Aries, watch out. They toxic. They're manipulative. Very trickster energy-like, okay? Um, they have addictions. A lot of addictions that they've invested in. They are a whole bunch of conflict and chaos. And not only physically, but mentally too. About this wand. This wand has caused all kind of conflict and chaos and shit. So I don't know what the hell's going on, Aries. But spirits tell you, protect yourself and you block yourself from this person. Confirmation, nine of wands. Yes, this is my homosexual card. It's not a big deal. It's just letting me know that they're confused. Okay, they got a, a head injury maybe. I don't know. I'm not saying that if, you, you know, sex, if you're uh, um, bisexual or gay that you have a mental problem. I'm saying that you need to be sure. This person is not sure. Okay. And I don't know why they're not sure because they're afraid of other people's opinions and concepts of what they might think. It's a community type thing, okay? But this person has backstabbed and betrayed, been backstabbed and betrayed. So one of these kings backstabbed and betrayed each other. They sure did. Mm, and they want to move the calmer waters to you. Okay, you don't even know this shit going on. You don't, you don't even know, you don't know. You don't know. Both of these men want to have a relationship with you, Aries. What kind of reading is this? And I just don't know how. Yes, and then the king of cups is involved somehow. Child, don't say that these is, oh my God, y'all check out, let me show, send me some, what reading was that so y'all can go look at that? Because this might tie into that, Aries, okay? Um, where is this spirit? I'm sorry, because I wrote them down, but I don't, I don't, oh yes, honey, it's the Gemini, this will blow your mind, orgy gone wrong to bind you, Okay? I posted it, literally, I'll post this video, because I pre-record my videos, but the, the title is, This Will Blow Your Mind, Orgy Gone Wrong to Bind You, okay? This seems like that could be going there, I'm not trying to pick up that energy, but there are these three men, here they come, and the devil's right here, that Capricorn, Lord have mercy, the end cycles for you, they were doing some work for victory and success, child, okay, I don't want to go through that again, so y'all go back. And yeah, honey, and they, and I'll tell you that she, they were trying to keep you stuck, okay? They did something impulsive because they didn't know that there had been a shift in energy. They did something impulsive and some shit had came to a rest. And now they're in this heartbreak energy because they feeling foolish. Here you are, Aries, okay? Now, I'm not picking up, you know, this don't have to be you. Now, you possibly do have some toxic traits or this Aries that what are we talking about about toxic traits because I address high vibrational creatures, and this is definitely not my high vibrational Aries. So if you're an Aries, you're a low vibrational. You probably been, yeah, this can't, can't, oh, child, Lord have mercy. I don't know what's going on. Jesus, help me. Child, though, mm, I should call it, I should do a deck of Chronicles and Sodom and Gomorrah. This is some shit right here. We all go into the world and it's like, oh, it's peaceful. It's so beautiful outside. Not knowing it's diabolical and demonic as fuck. 
Okay, all that glitters don't gleam. When you look at these men's, they don't even look like they would be. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being feminine and a gay man. I love that. There are some of my besties. You know, we get along so well. Shout out to Ni Nine. I call her Nina, though. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Marlo. Hey, Marlo, I love you. Shout out to Brittany. Hey, Brittany. That's my tribe, my Starbucks tribe, okay? But anyway, these people are in the closet, okay? They are. They do stuff behind closed doors with the moon cycle. They do magic together. Child, they do stuff in secret. And they're, they're all fighting against one another over this wand. Who's going to get a new beginning with you, Gemini? I mean, sorry. I'm sorry. Aries. 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 Now, it could be a Gemini. This earth sign. I mean, this air sign right here. Okay? Because Gemini is here. So, who's going to get a brand new beginning with Aries? But Aries, you are in your Queen of Swords energy, like I said already. Okay? And you're cutting out people, places, and things. And you walked away from this energy. But unbeknownst, unbeknownst to you, there's some, some foolery going around in your energy. So what's going on with in Aries? What's Spirit, what's going on? I'm not trying to... Somebody heartbroken. What else, Spirit? What is, what's going on? Why does Aries need to know this? Because you probably did feel somebody pulling on your shoulder, your solar plex chakras. Yeah, you feel somebody getting ready to come back. Okay, okay. So you feel somebody getting ready to come back. Okay, you're getting downloads about this person. So you need to stay aware and be aware, okay? Um, they can't touch you and spirit will continue to keep them from you as long as you keep your vibrations high, okay? Keep your mind on God at all times in order to manifest this wonderful protection and new beginning because you do have some master manipulators, some tricksters, some magical beings themselves that are doing magic against you to pull you in. And it's a fight to the finish who gets Aries first. And you dated these people, though. That's the gross part. Not that at the same time, Aries. You didn't even know these. You dated these people separately times in your life. Okay? You didn't even know that they knew each other. And I don't, I don't know if they knew each other. It didn't matter. The point is, you didn't date them together. You dated them, you know, spaced out. But come to find out, I don't know. They know each other. They know each other. Ooh, thank you, Spirit. I just got this. They met each other online. I don't know if it's a dating website. The, sm the world is small now. The world is small. And this air sign runs their mouth so much. They possibly pillow talked about you. I don't know how your, na your name came up somewhere. Maybe a picture. I don't know. Maybe they was bragging on you being this Queen of Pentacles energy. I don't know. Plotting and planning and shit. How they get. So maybe they was plotting to take from you. Maybe they're planning to take from you and then they want you to lay your guards down because your sword is up and your guard is up. You're defensive against these people or person or places or things, Aries. So just stay on your toes. Be aware. Spirit says you do what you want to do, but Spirit's telling me, nobody from the past, please don't take um, a leap of faith out and work on things with no one from your past. All new, new. You can't trust them. They have all been deceptive. They all have been wearing a mask. They have not been truthful. And if they can't be truthful about their own sexuality, God, they definitely can't be truthful about their feelings and emotions for you. You know what I mean? They just can't. But that's what's going on. I'm going to hurry and get out this energy because I, I just cannot right now. What else, Holy Spirit? Mm. Yeah, they did magic on you. Now they're waiting to sit back and see what takes place. Oh, my God. Y'all go check out that reading, okay? Because I don't want to go to. I already explained it all in that other reading. That was a lot for me. So now these people need to recoup, rejuvenate, and they need to heal from the magic that they've done, honey. Yes. It's heavily, they're heavily burdened by it, too, because it was an illusion. They were, ooh, shit. They're going to get karma. So if they're going to reach out to you, it's because they're receiving karma. Don't, okay, they're going to be coming off flighty and quick-witted and everything because they're stuck waiting for their ships to come in because they were having these sexual activities with these menses on this magical day to try to backstab and betray you and block you. Knowing they are getting readings on you to see where the fuck you at with it in this relationship. If you in another relationship, what you doing? They're trying to figure it out, um, Aries. <coughs> <coughs> they definitely don't want me to get it out. Because that came out of nowhere. But definitely go check out that reading that um that I posted the other day. And that'll deal dig more into it. That may resonate with you a lot more than this one. I want to get out of this energy, but you do got people fighting over you, Aries. You're in this wonderful place of healing, being nurtured. You're getting payouts. You're the empress energy. You're very intuitive, and you're blocking out negative energies. But these are the energies that have been... This is going on behind the scenes, okay? So check out that video, 
and that what was going on behind the scenes this has come up the same exact damn signs then came up lord have mercy oh my god so i gotta get i gotta go aries i love you guys so much don't forget to thumbs up like share subscribe i'm gonna do another reading we're gonna do the, re the readings more often um but this energy is uh i think you need to go back to that other reading that i just discussed so you it'll give you more clarity and i love you aries have a great day bye